What's up, shiny friends? Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. On today's show, I'm going to go ahead and show you a Asus Pro Art Studio Book. Now, if you got two grand burning a hole in your pocket for a laptop, this might be the laptop that you want to consider. Is this the most perfect laptop you can buy for $2,000? Let's find out. Listen. Here is the Asus Pro Art Studio Book. Wow, this thing is pretty heavy. Go ahead and turn this guy on and check it out. Now what's interesting about this laptop is that it actually has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and impeccable color for the screen. Also Asus claims that this laptop will not thermally throttle due to the awesome design that they put into it be able to keep the CPU and GPU properly cool. Now this sports a 9th generation i7, the 9750H. We're looking at six cores and 12 threads with hyperthreading. It's got 32 gigs of RAM installed in it. And then it has a RAID 0 volume using two 512 gig NVMe disks and RAID 0 for one terabyte of usable space at insane speeds. Now this also has the Intel Wi-Fi 6 chip, the AX200 in it as well, and then the built-in Intel UHD Graphics 630, as well as the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060. And you can see here that the 2060 actually has six gigs of dedicated RAM built in. That is insane in a laptop. The touchpad on this model is very responsive. Uh, it's very nice, I like it. it supports uh, gestures just like you would expect. Not quite as good in my opinion though as say a MacBook Pro or the Surface Book 3, but it is very, very close. All right, so here we can see on the side, we've got dedicated cooling, the power port, USB-C, HDMI, and then also a uh, super speed USB A port, and then you've got the headphones and SD card reader. And then you can actually see here, there's also a fingerprint reader as well. Now, if we turn it around, we've got a couple more USB ports as well. And again, dedicated cooling. Now, if we look at the back, again, there's a uh, vents for the cooling system on both sides. This is very, very important if you want to avoid thermal throttling, where, especially in systems that have multiple GPUs in it, like the built-in GPU that's part of the CPU, as well as the GPU, uh, dedicated discrete GPU, you really need to have adequate cooling, otherwise it's going to thermally throttle. So that's it for today's video, and if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button if you're into that kind of thing. And if you didn't like this video, then go ahead and slap that dislike button twice so we know that you mean it.